Stardust Power is developing a strategically located lithium refinery in Oklahoma, capable of producing up to 50,000 metric tons a year of battery grade lithium. And the company is contributing to U.S. energy independence and a cleaner future. With me is the CEO, Roshan Pujari, and welcome to have you back here uh, at the Stock Exchange. So now for those who didn't see our previous interview, um, explain the company, what it is you're doing exactly. Happy to, Jane. And mm -hmm. first of all, thank you again for having me. It's great to see you again and be on Innovators. So Stardust Power is developing a large central lithium refinery. Battery grade lithium is essential for um, anything that needs a battery from EVs to handheld electronics, the kind the military has become so dependent on. The critical gap in the supply chain is refining capacity. And that's how China is able to effectuate its stranglehold on the market by controlling up to 85% of global lithium refining capacity. So we're building a really large centrally located in Oklahoma refinery to answer that critical gap in the supply chain. Yeah. And then I know you've hit some milestones. So let's talk about your 8K and, and Sumitomo Corporation. Explain that partnership. Sure. Thank you. know, mm -hmm. we've been busy at Stardust Power. Recently, we acquired our land and got full permitting for the start of major construction. A couple of weeks ago, we had our groundbreaking in Muskogee, a well-attended event. Uh, the lieutenant governor of Oklahoma gave excellent remarks, as well as the mayor and former mayor of Muskogee. And it really highlighted the ex extensive community support and engagement we have there. And as you mentioned, recently we filed an 8K revealing that we have signed a non-binding letter agreement with Sumitomo Corporation for the offtake of up to 20,000 tons per annum of battery grade lithium carbonate. We're really excited to partner with Sumitomo. They're a well-respected company in the space, and they add a lot of value from their experience in the space to marketing activities and potentially uh, acquiring technical grade while we ramp up in the process. So really happy to have them as a long-term partner. Okay, congratulations Thank on you. that. Are there other upcoming catalysts that investors or people interested should be looking at? Yeah, so we are steamrolling towards a final investment decision or FID process. So we've reached most of the milestone needed to take on the project finance. We secured our site. We are fully permitted for construction. We have our offtake partner. And currently, we are finishing our FEL3 level engineering study um, done by Primero USA. We've been hard at work at it, and we should have that completed by the end of first quarter ish. And that will be all the milestones necessary to raise and deploy the money to build this facility and start major construction. Uh, which is a great event for us and very important to investors as we continue to de-risk our project and now start building it. And then we got a new administration in Washington I, since we last spoke, I believe. So um, talk about tariffs. Does that impact you at all? Um, energy policy. What are you watching coming out of Washington? Sure. You know, the Trump administration is being very proactive on critical materials. Mm -hmm. As President Trump has mentioned, we are in an energy crisis, and he's highlighted critical materials and refining of those critical materials. So we see immense tailwinds politically, uh, geopolitically, as well as the you know, looming trade war with China. Um, China controls a critical material space, highlighting the national security priority for onshoring uh, domestic manufacturing of these. So we feel we're very aligned with the administration's principle for now bringing these manufacturing jobs back home to America. Mm, and national security, too, plays a role in that. It is well, very yeah. important. You know, in a trade war, China could cut off critical materials, especially battery-grade lithium, which would have untold economic and potentially military consequences as the military uses this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it is a national security priority for critical material production in America. Okay, Roshan, uh, congratulations and thank you and good luck to you as you continue to grow the business. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Great to be with you, Jane. Uh -huh.